Welcome back 515 this morning and for five decades now, now the mm -hmm. Eisenhower Johnson tunnel through the mountains has connected eastern Colorado with the western slope and really western U.S. But as you know, driving at 11,000 yeah. feet in a snowstorm is treacherous. Any of us who've ever done a live report out there during uh, those storms, we know that. Denver 7 transportation expert Jason Luber is live at the tunnel this morning. And Jason, weather continues to play obviously a huge role in the day to day operations out there. Yeah, as you can see from my sparse hair here, it is blowing around a little bit. It's obviously very cold. And, and you know, it's really an amazing engineering feat here at 11,000 feet. It's uh, smack in the middle of the Colorado Rockies. The weather can play all kinds of different roles here, and it makes us susceptible to challenges and surprises at any surprises that Mother Nature could throw their way. So this is the area of I-70 that's notorious for heavy snowfall, which can really force the closure of the tunnel. And CDOT workers tell us things like avalanches and rock slides and icy roadways are really dangers that can impact uh, how traffic really moves through this area. They say that closings are frustrating for drivers, but if they've made the decision to close the tunnel, you can bet it's for a really good reason. And weather isn't just a concern during the winter months. It actually can be a concern at any months because at this altitude, snow can pretty much fall every month of the year. This can be a very harsh winter climate to operate this tunnel, but we have a 24 seven staff that, that does it incredibly well. We have our own system, our own city, if you will, to keep traffic moving during the worst of conditions in the state of Colorado. Now, safety really is their main focus up here, and they continue to say safety, safety, safety all the time for anybody driving through here or working up here. In fact, since the tunnel opened in 1973, there has not been a single fatality inside the tunnel. Yeah, they have had crashes and they've had other incidents in there, including fires, but they've never had a fatality up here, so that's a pretty good track record. All right, quick trivia time, guys. How many uh, full-time people do they have working up here? Uh, oh, gosh. Well, all... All, All year long? Yeah, I, I I'm don't know. Yeah. I'll say 50. Yeah. 100. Yeah. All right. No, less, 30. They have 30, including okay. one in the shack right here I was just talking to just a bit ago, some of the guys there. But they do all kinds of things. They also actually do the maintenance work, not only here at the tunnel, but they also run the fire department. So in case there's a fire oh inside the tunnel, wow. these guys up here, they will handle the trucks. They have fire trucks and all that stuff that they can go mm -hmm. and uh, handle those emergency situations. Yeah, That's their incredible. own fire department. Thank yeah. you, Jason.